Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new here, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I have for you guys my first fall makeup look of the year. And I'm so sorry I didn't get the chance to play with the Neon Heat eyeshadow palette, but makeup is makeup. I'll do it anyway. Some people may not want to see the colorful look, but I did have someone request um, a colorful look with the like a tropical type look with the Neon Heat heat palette that's still to come I have not forgotten that request but I had did a brown smoky eye one day and I posted it on snapchat and Instagram well I didn't post it but I was like talking in the video and somebody was like oh I need an a I need a makeup tutorial on that makeup look ASAP like right now and so I was like okay got you got it coming so first fall makeup look of the year first of all if I were to button this like lumberjack vibes so I got it super big so I could wear it open or tighter anyways that'll be another video but we're gonna go ahead and get into this first fall makeup look of the year and it is all affordable so everything affordable brown smoky eye first fall makeup look of the year let's get into it and of course we're going to start with priming I even made sure that the primers were drugstore and then I realized Dang, Allie, you only have two afford two drugstore primers, and at that, only one of them is really affordable because the Pixie one was expensive. So we are only going to use two today, and we're going to be using the Hard Candy hyd Hydrating Primer, and then the NYX Bear With Me Spray is what we are going to be priming with today. Feel pretty good today. How are you guys doing? When I'm filming this, it is Friday the 10th. So how are you guys doing? How what have you guys been up to? Give me all the deets. Also, I don't know if this is a mosquito bite or a pimple. Okay, and next we are gonna go ahead and go in with brows. And what I'm using for brows today is my NYX pencil. My NYX pencil, and I have the shade Espresso. And I'm going in with the NYX brow, that's not it. <laughs> with the NYX um, Lift and Snatch brow pen. And I have this one in the shade black, so we can get brows done really, really fast. And I just had to do my brows before I started filming. I tell y'all, every time I forget to do my brows. But at least my nails are kind of decent in this video. Whereas last video, them things were busted. Okay, brows are done and they are. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> the brows are there, but we're going in with our CoverGirl Lid Lock Eyeshadow Primer. Lid Lock Up Eyeshadow Primer. And that's what we're going to prime our lids with. I actually like this one a lot more than the Urban Decay Primer. Okay, so now that the lids are primed, we're going to go in with the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette. And I don't think it could get more fall than this, like... Can a palette get more fall than this one? You guys let me know. But I'm going in with the shade Dreamin' right here and we're just gonna set down that primer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Wonder and I know it's a bit darker, like there's really like no transitioning that I'm doing, but trust me. So we're gonna go in with the shade Wonder right here and we're gonna start putting that in the crease. Okay. 
Okay, so I just used a fluffy um, large blending eyeshadow brush from Profusion to do that in the crease. But now the color that I'm going to take right here is strong. And I'm going to take a different type of brush to do this part. And I'm going to actually take this brush right here. This is an Ulta Beauty blending eyeshadow brush. So it's kind of flat, but it's kind of fluffy. It's I love this brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to pack it on the lid. And it's going to look kind of harsh at first. But once we pack it, then you blend it into the crease. That's how we do that. Okay, so the bro... <laughs> I feel like smoky eyes always look insane until you get lashes on and then you got to get foundation on. So we're going to go ahead and start working on the lashes. And you guys, ever since I bought this or tried it in that video, like I cannot stop using this mascara. This is the Essence Lash, Lash, Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara. So we're going to curl our lashes and then we are going to coat our eyelashes with mascara. Okay, so first of all, that mascara is bomb. Like, I don't think my lashes ever look this good. Okay, so these lashes are kind of affordable, kind of not, but I really thought that they would be really pretty. They're not super crazy, like in the $20 price range. I got them for six because I bought them during the Ulta Beauty 21 Days of Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. These are $12, and so I bought the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. I have the Iconic Lights, and I really, really like those, but I was like, let me just try the regular Iconics. And so even the lash glue I'm using today is affordable. So we're going to be using the Kiss Lash Adhesive Lash Glue. Y'all know this is not my favorite. I go back and forth with liking and hating this lash glue. But we are going to go ahead and apply these lashes and then I will be right back once we have the lashes on because it's going to be a struggle because I don't like this glue. Okay, not that I don't like it, but it's more time consuming than my Velour Lashes glue. That's a better way to say that because you're probably like, why are you using it if you don't like it? I don't mind it. It is good once it's dry, once you get the application process down packed. But I'm not a patient person and you really, really have to wait for this to dry. So that's what I meant. All right, so now that the lashes are on, which I think I figured it out, I gotta leave it sitting there until the glue is basically freaking dry. So I didn't struggle too much, but now my eye is watering like crazy. Don't know why, I didn't even mess with it that much. But for foundation, we are going in with the Essence Pretty Natural Foundation. So I feel like this makes up for the price of the lashes, because this is only like six bucks. And it is bomb, you guys. When I say bomb, I mean bomb so this is how i like to do it just because it's a squeezy tube it's probably super messy and then we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out this june coast june and coast sponge is like six bucks as well the eyelash glue is only three so again you just have to let it dry a really long time that's so why i said it's not that it's a bad lash glue it's just that i don't have the patience to sit there and wait for it to dry me personally Wow, I always put on way too much of this, and I don't know why. Because the coverage on it is immaculate. I always get compliments when I use this foundation. They're like, your skin looks so pretty. Okay, excuse me, so for concealer, and this is also what I clean my brows up with, is the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. I feel like people either love this or they hate this. Oh, in the Pretty Natural Foundation, I have the shade New Neutral Cashmere 170. In the concealer, I have 032 or 32 Neutral Biscuit. But I was saying, I feel like people either love this concealer or they hate it. Like, I haven't seen any in between. Like, oh, it's all right, but I... Okay, and now for this. This is the Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lipstick, and this one is in Bronze Voltage. It's very deep. I could have probably gone a shade down, but I didn't know it was going to be this deep. The pictures online really tricked me.
And then of course we're just going to use my favorite brush from Lowe's. Well, I mean the shade is not terrible for me, which I really do like. But this I cannot use on top of powders like I can my other um cream bronzers. And I really like to apply them on top of powder because I feel like it helps it last longer and it just sticks so much better and it's so pretty. Okay, and for setting, I really need to get out of the habit of just throwing stuff down. So for setting powder, I'm going to use my Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I absolutely love this. So before we set, I am going to go in and of course blend out anything that may have possibly creased. King, go to your room with that. I'm going to set underneath my eyes with the Farrah Pressed Powder Brush. This is my favorite brush to set underneath my eyes with. Taking the Farrah Fluffy Powder Brush, and we're just gonna set the larger areas of the face. Ooh. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and finish up our lower lash line. And we're just gonna take the excess on both of these brushes and run it across the lower lash line. Okay, and then for our waterline, we're gonna go in with this Araceli. Oh, I don't think this is, god dang it, oh, no, I got rid of it. The, dry, the LA Girl brown eyeliner is really good. I just completely spaced and grabbed the Araceli one because I think I got rid of my LA Girl brown eyeliner. So I don't have an affordable brown eyeliner, but the LA Girl slide on glide on eyeliner is amazing in brown. But today I'm using this Araceli one in chocolate. Okay, now I'm just going to coat our lower lashes with the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go in with bronzer. And I only brought out one palette for that, so I'm going to use the Pro Fusion and Mean Girls You Glow Glen, Glen Coco palette. And I'm going to use this bronzer here. I'm also going to use the brush that came with it. And this one says, on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Did you guys watch my last video where I talked about... Go watch my last video. My last makeup video. My last beauty video. Also, do you guys consider clothing hauls beauty or lifestyle? Because I'm uploading a clothing try-on haul. And it's going to be considered as my lifestyle haul for the week. My lifestyle haul. My lifestyle video for the week. This bronzer is gorgeous. I hope they don't ever get rid of this collab. So it came out with so many good products. Or they should do like a special and like bring it back for certain times of the year. I feel like I went a little bit heavy right here. So we'll just tap over that with the sponge. So our face doesn't look too round. Now we're gonna take our cream blush. I'm taking the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Bali. Yeah, I believe that this one's in Bali. And this has become my favorite blush brush. This is the billion dollar bra the billion dollar brushes. So it's like that billion dollar brand. And this is their sculpting duo brush. But I love this side for cream blush. So flipping good. I feel like my hair has come together. My face has come together. Like everything has come together for the greater good. Okay, and for blush, we're taking the BH Cosmetics Vanilla Cream Truffle Palette. You can pick this up in Ulta, or you can get it online, I think. I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades here. And using the Alamod Cosmetics Blush Brush. 
Yeah, that was perfect. Whoa. Are we blushed or not? Nah? Wow. I want to go to a shooting range. Bang, bang. Like, I don't know. I just really want to go to a shooting range. I keep seeing all these posts of everybody going to the shooting range. And I wanted to go before I seen the post. But now, like, I really want to go. And I feel like the flannel is giving me, like, hunter vibes. So let's go. Anyways, highlight. Going back into the U Glow Glen Coco. This has been my favorite highlighter. And I think it's just so freaking pretty. This is in the shade of Secrets. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. Throw some on the inner corners. Okay. And now for lips, we're taking the NYX um, lip pencil in brown. And we're just going to outline our lips. And I don't know if the braces are making my lips get bigger or what. But the way I used to line don't work no more. So <laughs> it's going to look, I don't know. It's weird right now. So I'm really wondering if y'all can hear King right now being super loud with that tablet <laughs> and then to fill in our lips we're going to be using a color pop sunny side just a nude go back in with the slip liner just a little bit all right so to set the brows we're going in with the wet and wild brow obsessive brow gel all right and now we're going to curl the lashes one last time y'all know how we do over here i don't know why i'm so hyper right now it's also lunchtime and i'm starving okay perfect and to set, we're still using it the same spray. I don't even think I sprayed this on my face to begin with, but we're gonna use this spray. So loud with that tablet. Okay. Push it in, push it in, push it in. And I know this seems weird, but I'm taking a clean edge of my sponge and cleaning the foundation out the edges of my hair. I no longer have wipes in my house because King is potty trained. I used to do this step with wipes, but the butt of a sponge will work much better. It don't look like I'm super gray right here. So, yeah, you guys, this is actually the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like, all the fall vibes, like, give them to me. Lord, please cool Lubbock, Texas down. Give us that fall weather. Please, Heavenly Father, it's been hot. My AC don't work right in my car. Please, Lord, help us. So, yeah, you guys, I'm just being a little goofball, but seriously, really praying that it cools down because my ac really don't work right in my car but this is a completed look i hope that you guys enjoyed it tell me did this video give you all the fall vibes i mean we got the background we got the flannel we got the brown smoky goodness so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.